Welcome. In front of me is an iPad mini from 2021. And today I will show you how to uh, sync your music to the device. So you can actually listening, listen to it locally without any kind of internet connection. So anyway, to get started, there's a couple things that we'll need. Uh, number one, it will be a computer that can be either Windows or uh, Mac. Number two, you will need a cable. Uh, now, the iPad mini uses a type C cable. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's a little bit different than what iPhones do. And from there, I'm gonna plug in the cable to my computer. There we go. Also connect it. And Okay, there we go. Uh, do you want to allow yes and trust? There we go. Give it a second and it should show up. Any moment now. Oh, there we go. Set up as new. It started. Okay. So, uh, getting to it. Um, if you're using Windows, you need to get iTunes, which can be done using the Microsoft Store. Uh, that's, I believe, at the moment, the only place you can actually download it. Uh, Apple website doesn't provide a link to it anymore. And if you're using a Mac computer, uh, you don't need to actually download anything. Uh, everything you need is already pre-baked into the computer itself. So uh, all you need to do is open up your music application uh, on your computer. It's literally called music. So once you got that, uh, either iTunes or music open and your device connected for some reason it's syncing oh, it's creating a backup now I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds to finish up the backup but anyway I'm gonna also start explaining while this is backing up so if you go to the music you have a sync music option now there's two ways of syncing your music to the device. One would be the automatic one where you get to either sync your entire library. Uh, entire library refers to the library on on iTunes. So everything that you have right here in your library. For me, it's about 280, 286 songs. So that is one way you can do it by syncing the entire library. Or if you go back here, you have also select playlists, artists, albums, and genres. So uh, you could select each, for instance, artist that you want to sync to the tablet. You could select genres, albums, whatever it is. And later on, if you add any of those uh, to your library on iTunes specifically, uh, that you have already selected. So as an example, if I select Royal Deluxe, right, uh, as an artist, it will sync that artist to the device. Now that's not many, it's about probably like two, three songs that I have of them. Uh, but once I add more songs to iTunes, it will automatically, when I plug in the device to my computer, it will automatically transfer the new songs that are not here to the tablet. Basically fixing whatever I was missing from like the discrepancy between library and the iPad itself. So um, basically going to it, I would recommend you to start off with this option and just select each artist uh, that you want to transfer or songs or genres or all of the, the above so because you can select uh, you can select artists you can select genres as well as artists and also albums so whichever way you go about it if you go with all three at the same time you can also do playlists uh, although i don't have any playlists so it's empty you can do playlists and uh, sync it up this way for the first time and later on if you add for instance some new artists that doesn't fall under any of those categories and does not get synced to the tablet itself you can simply go to your library. Let me actually, actually I'm gonna sync it up. So I'm gonna sync up only like, uh, there we go, good enough. Uh, two, let's select apply. Also gonna open up music on here just so you can see what's gonna happen. Nope, that's not it. Where is it stored? Okay. 
Damn, now it should appear. So as I mentioned before, the sinking was kind of stopping it. So if I go back... Oh, there we go. Now as you can see, the library actually has something. So if I go into songs, you can see there is uh, there are all these songs from the artists, uh, the two artists that are actually synced up to it. So once you do that, I can also go into your library right here. Select however many songs you want. So as an example, I'm just gonna select. There we go. Several more, and I can drag it over to the device iPad, drop it, and it will get synced up to the device. Now, if you do it the other way around, so you start off with this one and then you go sync, uh, to sync, uh, sync will force you to remove the songs that you have manually added. Uh, unfortunate, but well, it is what it is. As well, it gives me some kind of error by sync, uh, from syncing. It doesn't really matter. It already synced the music into it. As you can see right here. Uh, so it pops me with an error, yet it still did what it's supposed to do. Normally that shouldn't appear though. And there we go. So that is the two ways you can uh, sync your music. Additionally, if you want to change something, you can still go to the music and change whatever you have changed right here. Although, like I mentioned before, I believe if you select sync, so let me quickly check. If I select sync, I believe it might remove the songs that I have added manually, so these ones. But I guess we'll see right now. So it added the song, but didn't remove the old ones. So yeah, that's actually even better. So honestly, if you're looking at this right now, uh, if you're planning to sync up music like this, I would recommend you to start with the sync, even if you're gonna sync, sync a single song. Because if you try to change it later on, uh, it won't remove the music that you have already put on your device uh, through this method, the dragging over method. And if you start with this one and then you go to sync as a like enable this feature, uh, it will remove whatever you have put on. So anyway, uh, finishing off this, as you can see, that is how you copy your music, uh, physical music to your device. And uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, the only downside is you need iTunes uh, always. And uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, this has changed or not. Uh, I might just mention it in the case. So if you're planning to sync music, uh, it used to work the way that if you use whatever I'm using, like as an example right now, this iTunes, and if I move over to a different computer, if I have two of them and I also have iTunes on the other one, I wouldn't be able to sync music anyway from the new device, uh, from the new computer to this device, uh, because reasons. And it would force me to basically remove all the music that I have put on, on this computer right here, and then I would only be able to sync the new library to, to this device after removing anything that was synced from this computer. Now, I'm not sure if this is still the case. I just thought I'd mention that so you don't actually have to go through the hustle and then realize that you, your device requires you to remove the music that I have put on because you want to sync from a different computer that has bigger library or something like that. So anyway, um, finishing this off, this is how you'd sync it. Uh, and now you can listen to your music whenever you want without any kind of internet connection. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.